Hello everyone! I'm just trying to make sure that everything is working. Um, please let me know if you can see me and hear me so that I know that I did it correctly. Um, this is my very first time uh, streaming so I'm learning everything as I go so I'm sure that there will be um, a couple hiccups today because I'm still getting the ropes. Um, but if anything isn't working, please let me know in the comments if um, maybe the volume is too loud or too quiet, um, or if you can't see something that you should be able to see. Um, and yeah, this is so exciting. My heart is like kind of racing right now because I was worried that um, it wasn't going to work. But I think, okay, you guys can see me, you can hear me. Okay, amazing. Amazing. Oh, there's so many of you here. This is so cool. Hello, hello. Where are you guys all, um, where, are, where are you guys all? Are you in Canada, the US? Uh, the UK, the Philippines. Okay. I think there's like a lag, so it takes a while for me to see what you guys are typing. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to do a um, study with me, which is basically like a little online study group. So I'm going to be working on my One Econi reviews um, and let me know what you guys are working on today. And basically, um, I'm going to be working on my stuff, you guys are going to be working on your stuff, and we can kind of just like um, keep each other company as we're doing it. Um, I'm going to be setting a 20 minute timer. Um, so just kind of like a Pomodoro study technique, if you've heard of that. Um, so we'll work for 20 minutes and then take a couple minutes break um, just to freshen up and I can answer some questions, um, grab a snack, that kind of stuff. Um, Ohio, France, Oregon, Oklahoma, UK, India, Texas, Virginia, Maryland. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. So many people. Okay. So, like I said, I'm working on my Wani Kani reviews. I have been very bad with my Wani Kani lately. I didn't use it at all. For the whole month of June, I think. So I have 958 reviews to do today. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do all of them, but I'm gonna do my best. Um, since it's been so long since I've done them, I am sure that I'm going to have forgotten a lot of words that I should know, so be prepared for that. I'm gonna get a lot of things wrong. I'm going to be using the Anki mode um, plugin so that I'm not gonna have to type out every single answer. It's going to instead show me the answer and then I'm going to decide if I knew it or not and then I'm going to mark it like that just because 900 is a lot to go through and if I type them all by hand I'd be here for a very long time. So that is what I'm doing today. Um, I'm going to crush vocab right now. This is actually nice. Awesome. Mexico, Colorado. What level are you on? I am on level 23. I'm going to share my Wani Kani screen here so you can see it better. Okay. Um, yeah, I am currently on level 23, and I have been for, at the top here it says how many days I've been on this level, 87 days. Uh, so my Wani Kani reviews have not been doing the, the best right now. Um, I remember when I was on level 10, I was also on level 10 for about three months. So hopefully we will be able to level up soon. Probably not today, definitely not today but soon. Um, what level are you guys on? Are you on Wani Kani, anyone? Uh, how many compound words does Wani Kani ask per kanji? I don't know exactly. I would say an average of like two to five compound words per kanji is about average. It really depends on the kanji and how common it is, um, but definitely at least two, I would say. Yeesh 900, I sweat when I'm over 100. Yeah, I also sweat over 100, so I'm very stressed right now. It's gonna take quite a while, but I need to get through it. I'm glad we're doing this because I've been procrastinating doing these reviews for weeks, but now I'm finally gonna be doing it today. Um, hello from Brazil, level 13, nice, nice. Okay, so I think we can start, unless there's any other questions, um, we can start the first um, study session. Um, I'm gonna review some Anki and I might make some new flashcards. Nice. Very good. 
Finished RTK learning vocab separately. Nice. Level nine. Conchudo. I've never heard of conchudo. Is that another um, kanji learning thing? Sounds cool. I'll have to check that out. Uh, currently on level six. Been slacking pretty hard on the lessons recently. Yes, me too. Me too. Uh, level seven. Awesome. Okay. So I think we will start um, the first study session. I also wanted to ask, do you guys like, um, I'm trying to point to it, do you guys like being able to see what I'm doing in the screen share or would you rather it be um, hidden like that? And you'd still be able to see my screen, but um, not as clearly. Hello, hello, some new viewers. How many people do we have right now? 30 people, oh my gosh, that is so cool. So cool. Screen share is good? Okay, I'll have the screen share on. So you can watch me get everything wrong. Um, it has been over a month since I've done my Wani Kani reviews, so I will have forgotten a lot of them. So we'll see how this goes. Um, awesome, okay, let's get started. I'm going to set a 20 minute timer and then we can take like a two minute break and we'll just keep doing that until we stop. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, cool. I'm going to start this and I'll get started. Seven forty-seven reviews. Yeah, we're on the same page here. We've got a mountain of reviews to do. Awesome. Okay. See you guys in 20 minutes. Happy studies.
Okay. So that was the first little study session. Uh, if you need to get a snack or go to the bathroom, get some water, we'll break for like two or three minutes and I'll check what the chat is saying. Um, Level 55, wow, that's very impressive. That's really cool. But you're gonna restart. I mean, if you want to, go for it, but that is a lot of work to restart on, oh my gosh. Um, I'm not sure whether to continue studying kanji in isolation or just pick them up from vocab. You can do either way, like, um, it really depends person by person just what works best for you. I found that learning kanji independently. Um, I found learning kanji independently really helps me in learning vocab. I found it was too confusing for me to just learn the vocab words if I hadn't seen the kanji within the vocab words before. So that's why I do wanikani because um, it will teach me the kanji and then it will teach me some vocab that use the kanji and it's a lot easier for me, but that doesn't mean it's easier for everyone. It's definitely a lot faster if you just learn the vocab words and don't add the extra step. So. Whatever works for you. Um, what is this app? This is Wani Kani. Oh yeah, people answered, thank you. Um, bum, bum, bum. Is there a way to make Wani Kani ask for meetings only? I don't believe so, because that's one of the main um, selling points of Wani Kani is that you learn both what it means and the reading. Uh, and like someone said, yeah, RTK is really good if you only want to learn how to recognize the kanji and learn the readings later down the road. Um, there might be a plugin that lets you do that with Wani Kani, but I have not seen one before, and RTK is probably the best option if that's what you're looking for, because that's really what RTK is doing. Oh yeah, Deadshot, thank you for answering that, you already did. Um, In Limpu, thank you. I love how chill Olivia is while I'm shouting at the characters on the screen. Nice. Yeah, it's it's frustrating when you see something that you know you should know and it's just completely not in your head anymore. Um, Wanikani does have a mobile version, but it's not official, like it's not by Wanikani, someone else made like an external app that you can link with so you can do it on your phone. I have never used it, but I know a lot of people like it. I'm pretty sure it's called Flaming Dirtles, um, so you can look that up. Uh, the only problem with it is that you're not allowed to use any plugins with it just because it's an app, so you can't do like Anki mode that I'm doing right now or I don't know, any other fancy stuff that you might want to do, but there is an app. Um, that exists. Oh, yeah, people are already answering these questions. I should read ahead. Thank you for answering these questions, everyone. Yeah, learning radicals is definitely the most fun part, just because it's a lot easier. It feels a lot more like you're accomplishing something and then you get to the kanji and you're like, I saw this two minutes ago and I already forgot it. Hey Ernie, level one, nice, getting started. Hi Kirsty. Greetings from Germany, hello. Nice, Jordan. Reviews finished. Good for you. Down to three thirty uh, seven thirty seven. Nice. 
<laughs> got in a fight with your kitten. Um, I'm 100 words into the JLPT N5 deck, just started using Wani Kani. Should I start, stop using the deck and just focus on Wani Kani for now? Um, again, I'll just depend on how things are working for you. I found that um, I did Wani Kani first and then I did the deck once I was at like level 5 maybe and then I went into the deck, but you can do them at the same time, there's no problem with that, it just depends on if you're finding it hard to juggle two things at once and if you're finding it hard to learn vocab words with kanji in it that you haven't previously learned with Wani Kani. Um, so yeah, it really depends on time commitment and just how you prefer to learn your kanji. How do you prepare for N3 JLPT? What are your additional resources? Right now I am mostly just trying to get in a lot of content and just get better at understanding the language and like letting my brain like absorb the language if that makes sense. Um, but I have over here, um, this is Shinkansen N3. Um, it's like a little um, prep book. I haven't started it yet, but I will do that eventually. It has a lot of um, practice questions based on the test. It has a lot of practice questions based on the test um, just to get you prepared, so I will do that eventually. But right now I just want to get better at the language in general just because I find um, standardized tests don't really teach you, don't really test you on how good you are at the language. It's more just testing you on a lot of really specific things for the certification, so yeah. Um, Flaming Dirtles, what a name, yeah. Uh, my reviews are going good so far. I have finished 85 of them and I'm getting 84% of them right, so that's way better than I expected, so I'm really happy about that, but I still have 870 to go, so. But. Okay, so I think we'll go back and do another 20 minute Oh, I was talking for a while. So. Um, we'll do another little 20 minute session. How do you remember vocab readings? Any tricks? Um, the good thing about Wani Kani is that it will give you little mnemonic stories to help you remember them. So I really try to read what they give me a couple of times and kind of like visualize it in my head. And then that kind of helps me. Um, if you haven't used Wani Kani before, that might not make sense, but basically it will break down the kanji into these little parts, and each part will have a name, and then you'll tell a story with it. So that's how I do it. I just follow the mnemonics and try to visualize that in my head, and that really helps me with my memory. But yeah, so let's do another 20 minutes. Ba -ba -ba -ba.
you guys have any questions for the break, I'll see what you guys are talking about. What is your favorite letter in Hiragana and Katakana? Hmm. What is my favorite? Can I open up the Kana chart up here? Um, what's a good one? I'd say I really like the A and the O just because they're really fun to write. They're like really loopy. Um, and then for Katakana, is Katakana on this? I don't think so. Um, Katakana, Mm, I'm not really sure. I feel like I'm not as fast in the katakana as with my kanji, with my hiragana. But, oh yeah, I like the, the ones that look like smiley faces. Those ones are fun too. Um, is there a plugin for doing wanikani in the JLPT order? I don't think so. I don't think that there are any plugins that let you alter the order that you get to learn the kanji because then that would affect all the levels and everything like that because it's already preset in a certain order. So no, I don't think so, but there is a plugin that will tell you how many of the how many of the kanji you have learned for each JLPT level. So that can help you about help, oh, sorry. That can help you out a bit, but no, you cannot learn them strictly in the JLPT order, but they are generally already in that order. Are any of you guys planning to go to Japan when it opens again? I would love to go to Japan one day. Probably not right away when it opens, but um, one day I would love to go. How are you typing so fast? I'm not typing fast. I'm using a plugin that makes um, that makes this work kind of like Anki does. So I'm just pressing the space bar and then it will show me what the answer is, and then I press either one or two. Um, I press one if I got it right, and two if I got it wrong. So I kind of like, look at the question, I think of the answer in my head, I press the space bar, see what the answer is, and then I mark myself right or wrong. Um, I'm not typing up the answers right now, just because I have so many to go through, it would take forever if I was typing them. Um, Boon Pro. Oh yeah, Boon Pro is a really cool resource. Um, I used it for maybe a month or two and then I just stopped because it was just too many things to juggle but it's very similar to Wine Connie but for grammar so definitely check it out it's pretty cool um, it has like all the grammar points on the website um, and you can choose what order you want to learn it in so you can learn it in the order of the Genki textbooks or um, and they have like three or four textbooks on there I think and you can follow the order and then it will have the grammar point. It'll have a link to a bunch of different websites that explain the grammar point. And then you kind of just do what you're doing with Wani Kani here. Like it'll give you a sentence and you like fill in the blank with the grammar point. It's kind of cool, but it is time consuming. So. Um, what other plugins are you using? Have you used the Ketai Somatic? Semantic. What plugins am I using? Um, these are the ones I'm using. I can't say I remember what they all do. Um, Jitai, I'm pretty sure, is a plugin that that randomizes the font. So you'll notice that the font kind of changes as I'm doing reviews, and it kind of just mixes it up a bit. So I like that one. Anki mode is what what I'm using with the spacebar thing. Um, open framework doesn't really do anything. It's just a lot of other plugins are built on top of it. 
level duration to I have no idea what that does auto commit um, will if I was typing my answers auto commit just um, if I got if I type in the right thing it just presses enter for me but right now I'm not typing so it's not doing anything also is the volume level good I don't know if I'm too loud or too quiet or Gwen, yeah, I agree with you, Gwen. Like, I like Boon Pro for reviewing grammar points, but it's not the best for learning them. It's... Because it's hard to, like, memorize a grammar structure that you just learned. It's better to already know it pretty well and then be, like, guessing how to fill it in instead of trying to remember how to conjugate something, if that makes sense. So, I'd say Boon Pro isn't something you should use right from the start. It's something you should use later on, probably, to get the most out of it. What are some of your favorite books, manga, TV shows that you've used for learning Japanese? Um, favorite books? Um, Shirkuma Cafe is a really good manga series for beginners. It is very simple, lots of pictures. Um, that is a really great one to start with. Um, what other manga series? Oh, um, Yotsuba is really good. I wouldn't read Yotsuba first just because there is a lot of slang in it, which will be very confusing if it's your first book because, um, they won't conjugate the verbs in the way that you'd expect them to. So don't start with Yotsuba, but it's a good, like, second or third series to read. Um, I'm also reading... I don't know if you can see behind me. Um, I have Hunter Hunter and I have, um, this is Kiki's Delivery Service. Um, I haven't finished either of them, but I've read the first chapter of Kiki and about half of Hunter Hunter. Um, they're more of my like challenge books. They're a bit harder, but they're pretty good. I'm liking them. Um, TV shows, Sh um, Shirak Shirakuma Cafe is also a TV show. So the manga and the TV show are really good. Um, I also watched Hunter x Hunter. I watched so many shows. What else did I watch? I watched Haiku. I watched... Uh, I can't even keep track of everything. But I would um, recommend for TV shows, try to stick to shows that are more day in the life because shows that are more like action fantasy are kind of hard to follow because they use a lot of words that you just wouldn't know yet because... It's like fantasy world and there's made up words and there's like advanced words in there. Um, are grammar points something that you try to practice actively or do you just try to make sure you know a specific piece of content sentences? Um, for grammar, I take a very relaxed approach. Um, when I was going through the Genki textbooks, I tried to understand how the points were used, but I wasn't trying to memorize them really. I, yeah, when I'm reading, I just try to understand what the sentence says. I don't worry too much if I don't understand every single part. Um, you can do that, but I find I just get bored too fast, so I go more for um, quantity over quality when I'm reading. Yeah, Hunter x Hunter is so good, you should watch it. It is very long, but it's so good. I loved it so much. It was one of the first anime that I watched, and I watched all of it. It was very good. Okay, I'm gonna get back to studying because I keep talking for too long. I'm trying to get some reviews done, but thank you for all the questions. Keep pressing the wrong thing.
Oh, thank you, Hacks. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, uh, it's a little like... Oh, uh, thank you so much. That's so sweet.
Okay, I'm just gonna go fill this up and then I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Do, do, do. Nice, level 28, that's awesome. I'm only on level 23, I think, right now. Native shark. I feel like I might have heard of that before, but I don't really remember. But I'll definitely check that out too. Oh yeah, I do like my chair. It is super extra. It like has these, I don't know how to show you. I have, it has these like cutout things. It's very comfortable and it goes really high. But yeah, looks kind of space like. I'm glad you're liking the stream so far. I wasn't sure how it would go because I've never done, uh, I've never even watched other study with me streams. I was watching some last week just to like see what they were like. So I'm glad you're liking it. I'm also really liking it because it's forcing me to do my reviews. I think I would have continued procrastinating these for a couple more weeks if I didn't do this. So I'm liking it too. You're taking your time too, leveling wise. Um, my goal was to reach level 30 by July, but I did not reach that goal. I have been on level 23 for like over two months, maybe three months, but usually, other than my hiatus right now, I'm usually leveling up every like nine or ten days, but I have not been on top of that as of late, hence the mountain of reviews I have. Um, it's called uh, a Capisco chair. It is quite bougie, but I splurged on it last year during quarantine because I was just working um, from like a a dining room chair that was way too low to the ground and I was getting like a lot of back problems so I thought I'd invest in my ergonomics um, what level is she on Wani Kani? Um, level 23 um, Wani Kani does have sound I just have it turned off right now because I don't want to distract you guys who are studying at home but um, usually it will read out um, the reading for each word out loud
what are you guys working on? Are you doing Wani Kani reviews right now too? Um, Anki cards, RTK, textbook stuff, reading. Yeah, exactly. I was just sitting for over half the day, it felt like, so. Yeah, I also got, like, this ergonomic keyboard. It's, like, a split keyboard, and I've been liking it. Um, yeah. Genki Chapter 13, nice. You're really, you're, like, almost done the first book, or maybe even start the second book. I don't remember when it switches over, but very nice. Also doing one Kani reviews. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. How many? I've now done 350 reviews, so feeling pretty good about that. Um, almost halfway done. I'm doing a lot more than I expected to get through because before when I was reviewing regularly, I would have just about 100 reviews to do per day. And it would take me like 20 minutes to do a hundred. Um, so doing an okay pace right now, I guess. First chapter of the second book. Nice. Is there a recommended amount of kanji slash words? You should have in each bucket in Wani Kani. I'm unsure if I should keep adding new ones into my pool. Um, yeah, so when you log into Wani Kani, there'll be those like colorful boxes along the bottom. My recommendation is to keep the first box, I think it's pink, the apprentice box, um, under 100, and the second box under. I said it in one of my videos. I think it's either 300 or 500, the second box. And so if you have the first box under 100 and the second box under three or 500, you should be having reviews that take less than like 45 minutes every day. Like that will keep you without too many reviews that it becomes overwhelming um, because that was a problem that I had, especially right now, obviously, because I haven't been doing my reviews. But when I was at level 10, I was doing way too many lessons and then I just had too many reviews to do every day and it just became really overwhelming. So definitely um, take your time. Don't rush doing all the lessons as soon as they unlock. It's totally fine to just go slow and steady instead of going too fast and then burning out. Five hundred, thank you. Five hundred. So one hundred, five hundred for the first two boxes, and then you should be good. There's a clip on the back of your keyboard. Oh yeah, these things. I use them. This is like a sit-stand de desk, so I do raise the keyboard when I'm standing. Yeah, actually I'll try it like that for a bit. See how that feels. Yeah, do not, yeah, don't follow my example today and have hundreds of reviews to do. It is not fun. Way better to be consistent and going slow. How long are the breaks? Um, I don't know, until I stop answering questions. <laughs> I was planning on doing like five minute breaks, but I keep rambling and then I want to answer everyone's questions, so. Are you saying to take the JLPT? Um, not currently, but I do want to take the JLPT N3 probably this winter, but I'm not, like, doing focused study right now, but I will eventually. Right now I'm just generally studying Japanese. Slow and steady is the best. I learned that the hard way. Me too. Yep.
Um, master enlight and Enlightened amounts aren't as important as the first two boxes. Yeah, you don't really need to look at Master and Enlightened because those are like items that you're only reviewing every like month or like three months or six months. As long as you keep the first two boxes at that rate, the, the boxes that follow will be at a good number. Um, I am planning on taking the JLPT this winter, is the plan. I originally wanted to do it this July, but then with COVID and everything, it just didn't really seem like it was going to happen, so. Yeah, this keyboard doesn't have the clips on the top. It's only at the bottom, which is kind of weird. I don't know. N2 or N1, that's awesome. That's really cool. I would like to take the N2 or N1 eventually, but I don't think I will be re ready anytime soon to do that. Um, I have not taken either of the JLPT N5 or N4s yet. I only took, like, um, I did, like, the practice exams that are on the website, and I passed those. I haven't done, like, it officially, though, so. And I also found, like, when I was doing the practice JLPT N5 and N4, I was kind of getting frustrated because a lot of the words are in kana, not in kanji, just because it's an easier test. They don't want to throw in kanji. Um, that are more advanced, but because I'm doing Wanikani, I know a lot of the kanji, so I found it was actually... Some of the questions were harder for me than they should have been, just because I wasn't familiar with seeing the words written out in hiragana. I was more used to seeing them in kanji, so I found that kind of um, tripped me up, so that's kind of also why I want to take the N3, because there'll be a lot more kanji, and I know a lot more kanji. Doki. Let's do another study thing because I have no idea how that long that break was. I feel like I was talking a lot. Uh, the yellow book is um, Kiki's Delivery Service.
I still need to finish the JLPT N5 Anki deck. I was doing the Core 2000 deck, but it didn't seem quite as focused. Yeah, I found the same thing. I tried the Core decks, but I don't know. I just found a lot of the vocabulary not vocabulary that I really wanted to learn. I found the Tango decks to be more to the point. I think the reason is because the Core decks are... The, the way that they were made was by, like, analyzing a bunch of news articles and finding the most common words. So there's a lot of words in there that is, like, news-specific or, like, pol politics or, like, finance and, like, not a lot of beginners really want to learn those words, especially at the start, so. Is that a Kana keyboard? Um, no. I'm just gonna read ahead what chat. Can anyone tell me if she's using a script? Yeah, yeah, so I'm just using an Anki plugin so I don't have to type anything. I just like press the space bar, it shows the answer. I press one or two depending on if I got it right. Just a lot faster. Hi Priscilla, welcome to the stream. Yeah, definitely pace yourself with Wani Kani. It's so easy to do too many lessons and then it just becomes overwhelming. Uh, and the plugin is called, I'm pretty sure it's just called Anki, Wani Kani Anki mode it's called and in my, I'm pretty sure I linked it um, below, um, in my tutorial on how to use Wanikani plugins, I think that is the one that I show how to install, I think. Bye Gwen, thanks for joining. And yeah, I definitely will do this again, because this seems like a fun little study group, you know? Everyone can get some work done, including myself. I'm thinking, um, like today I have a ton of reviews, but usually I only have like 20 minutes worth of reviews to do. But a while back I was thinking of streaming me playing games in Japanese, because that's something that I've been liking to do for studying. Um, I was playing Stardew Valley in Japanese, or Animal Crossing is also a good one, like any game that's very like story based and has a lot of text and like dialogue to read are pretty good, so I think I might um, do that sometimes, it's a bit more engaging, but also this is good for um, reviewing all of your cards and stuff. Hello Monica, welcome to the stream. Just taking a little break. Um, I might just grab a quick snack really quick. I'll be right back. I had this like ready to go. It's just some cranberries and almonds. Would you do an entire video in Japanese? I definitely will eventually, but I don't know. Right now I'm not super confident in my speaking skills because I'm mostly doing reading and listening exercises. I'm not doing a lot of talking practice. So I will eventually, but Yeah, yeah, like, I think a lot of beginners don't start learning kanji early because it is, like, super intimidating, but I think it's really one of the first things you should learn because it's just gonna make everything so much easier because, like, you know, you need to know kanji to learn vocabulary and you need to learn vocabulary before you can do, like, any immersion stuff, so it's just, like, one of the hoops that you kind of have to jump through, so it's good to do it early.
Um, I was told Stardew wasn't the best to play in Japanese because the translation was kind of rough. Have you found any issues so far? Um, I haven't found any issues with it, but also I'm learning Japanese, so I don't think I would notice if there was mistakes. But that, thank you for telling me that, though, because I don't want to, like, study with bad source material. So maybe I'll start with Nintendo games since those are Japanese. What's my ultimate goal for Japanese? Um, that's a good question. I honestly kind of started it just as like a fun hobby to do, but I'd say like short term goal is just to be able to, well, not that short term, long term goal is to like be able to just like read stuff and watch stuff and listen to stuff in Japanese as if I was listening to it in English would be super cool. Um, because I can do that with French, um, because I went to French immersion school, um, and I just like to also be able to do that in Japanese. So, yeah. Mostly just, like, for fun. Yeah, the chair, I was talking about it earlier, it's called a Capisco chair. Um, I'll put a link in the, in the description box after the stream, but... Yeah, if I script the video, I could definitely do a scripted video talking in Japanese, um, but I'm definitely not able to just talk in Japanese, like, as if I was talking English, but I can obviously read Japanese out loud, so maybe I'll do that. I just want to, like, if I do a video like that, I want to be very clear that I am just reading something that I prepared ahead of time because... Like, usually when you're watching YouTubers talk in a different language, that's what they're doing. Like, they already figured out what they want to say and wrote it down and, like, practiced it. So they're saying it rehearsed. They're not just talking. And I feel like beginners usually don't know that. And then they feel really intimidated and feel like they're not making a lot of progress because they can't talk like that. Because they don't know that the person's reading off a script. So. Canada represent. Nice. Yeah, it takes a while to be able to do the right conjugations. Um, it just takes a lot of listening to the language. Like, when I was learning French, we, like, learned the conjugations in school, but it really wasn't until I lived in France for a few months that I could actually do the conjugations without thinking, and it was just, like, really natural and I didn't have to think about it. So, don't get too hung up if you're getting the conjugations wrong. Just... Try to immerse yourself more and it will eventually be second nature. Yeah, I'm sure native language people also script their video, but like I script some of my videos, but more like an outline of what I'm going to say. But if I do a, a video in Japanese, I, I would like literally write out every single word. Which is what a lot of people do. <laughs> yeah, I tried playing Animal Crossing early on, and it was pretty overwhelming. <laughs> but I feel like I'm probably at a good level now to do it, but we'll see. The trickiest aspect of learning Japanese... Um... I don't know like a lot of it is just being consistent and just like actually doing the work and then it get, gets easier over time but listening is probably one of the harder things to get into because it's really overwhelming and you kind of feel like you don't know what's going on until you do so getting good at listening comprehension definitely takes a lot of feeling like you're lost for a really long time before you get good at it, so that's hard to keep with it. But, yeah. Anyways, that was a long break. Whoops. I will do some more. 
More studying. And I'm at 561. We're almost there. I had, I have 400 left. Maybe I'll do them all today. Maybe I'll do like 200 more. I've been streaming for two hours so far. I'll probably do like another hour. I'm having fun. It's been a good hang in with everyone.
Okay, I think I fixed it, hopefully. I think you guys can still hear me, but... Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Am I? Oh yeah, I can see things moving around.
Okay. Thank you for bearing with me with that little hiccup there. Um, it wasn't, um, it didn't overheat. It was, the battery was low because I have the camera plugged into my computer, but it was plugged in through this like extension cord and I assumed that it was both streaming the video and charging it at the same time, but I guess the extension cord that I have doesn't do power. So now I have it plugged directly into my laptop. So I think we're good. Like I think the camera's charging and streaming at the same time, but if it dies again, then that's why. But um, I think I, I think I figured it out. Um, Do, 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 do. Toradora. I th have I seen that? Let me look it up. Toradora. Um, yeah, I did. I've seen the first few episodes. I think I've seen like the first th three episodes of Toradora. Pretty good so far. I'm liking it. I watched Clannad and it was like one of the earlier animes that I watched. And I watched all of it and I have to say like I barely understood what was going on for a lot of it. But I just stuck with it. Um, and then I went back and was like, actually had the subtitles on and was trying to follow the storyline. Still can't say I really know what was going on, but it was good. But it went completely over my head when I was watching it in full Japanese. Nice, 80 reviews in 20 minutes, that's awesome. Um, my favorite anime is Hunter x Hunter, which I have behind me. I have a, a manga of it. That was one of my first, my first shows that I watched and I really liked it. Um, honestly, I, I've really liked almost every show that I've watched. They've all been so good. I just watched, um, recently I watched Banana Fish and oh my god, that show is so sad. So, so sad, but really good, but devastating. Um, daily goals. One of my daily goals is definitely to read every day. I haven't been super on top of that, but that is something that I need to um, get back into. Um, I usually read um, two articles on Satori Reader a day, and then whatever manga I'm reading, I'll try to read like a chapter. But I don't always, I don't always reach that goal because life happens, unfortunately. How do you remember kanji characters? Um, Wani Kani. Wani Kani is how I learn my kanji. It's a spaced repetition system that is really cool. I really like it. Um, it basically just like spoon feeds you how to memorize kanji. It is a paid service though. It's like $8 a month, but I think it's very worth it. Um, another good one that's free is RTK, uh, remembering the kanji and use that with Anki. Um, that's another good way to learn. Um... I just thought that there was food in there. Whoops. Um, yeah, Ghibli movies are also really good for beginners, yeah. I know, Banana Fish broke my heart too. Like, I honestly just was in tears in the last episode. I was so... I was so sad. Just like... Yeah, Spirited Away is so good. Like, I only saw Spirited Away like last year during lockdown when Netflix like added all the Ghibli movies 
and I watched it and I loved it so much and I watched some other ones and then I watched Hunter Hunter and then after that is kind of when I started learning Japanese. What cake are you gonna get when you hit level 60? <laughs> I will not be there for quite a while but oh I should move this thing it's kind of in my face isn't it? Um, I don't know, chocolate? I like chocolate cake. Or ice cream cake. But banana fish is about like, um, it's about this guy and he's like in a street gang and there's like gang wars and it takes place in New York City and then he's like working for this really rich guy and then, I don't know, I don't want to sto spoil too much of the story. I don't remember when they reveal things, like how early they reveal things. But yeah, it's about this guy um, who's in a gang and is solving mysteries and stuff. But it's very good. I understand mnemonics for writing, but how does Wani Kani help with mnemonics and readings? Um, I'm assuming your question is like, how do mnemonics help you with a reading? Um, let me open up a reading and you can see. Okay, so this one is trying to show us that this is pronounced nimotsu. And so our mnemonic says... Um, you'll need to remember the reading as motsu, though. Why? Because all your luggage just got thrown into various moats, so motsu, moats, um, along the countryside. It's going to take you forever to collect your luggage from these moats, and by then it'll be all soggy. So, like, the mnemonic will just be a word in English that's very similar to the, the pronunciation, so that's kind of how it works. It's not, like, perfect, but close. Favorite Japanese song anime opening? Um, I don't know if I know that many. I had the um, the haiku opening. I added that to one of my Japanese le um, song lists. I liked that one for a while. The the one in the first season. Yeah, that's a really good example. Deadshot. And you dig? Thank you. Thank you. Great explanations. Cuckoo. Okay. Hopefully the camera doesn't shut off again. <laughs> we'll do another another twenty minutes. I feel like I should I had to move the camera closer so that it would um reach, but now I feel like I'm kinda out of frame. Oh well, here goes over a bit. Um, hey, I just got here. Um, any tips on learning the pitches of words? Um, to be honest, I don't focus a ton on pitch, even though I probably should. I know that the like, Matt versus Japan's Anki, like, I don't know what it's called. He has, like, an Anki tool that shows you the pitch accent of words, so you can use that. Um, but you'd have to watch one of his videos to um, know how to work it, because I don't quite remember. But, um, yeah, that's kind of the only thing I know about. And just, like, listening a lot to the sounds, like, you kind of start to pick up um, an ear for the language and you can start noticing when things don't sound quite right but um, other than the Anki plugin that Matt vs. Japan has I don't really know of any pitch accent resources. Definitely check out um, Dojin. Dojin that's like his whole thing is pitch accent so I'm sure he has something.
favorite Haikyuu character? Um, hmm. They're all so good. Probably Noya. He's just fun, you know? So energetic. But honestly, like, they're all so good. They're all awesome. Shadowing? Sometimes. Not really. But sometimes. Like, mm, like if I'm doing Satori Reader, sometimes I'll put the audio on and, like, repeat it back. Um, or sometimes if I'm reading, I'll just read out loud. But I don't do a lot of explicit shadowing. My Japanese friend said Doken sounded weird, lol. <laughs> That's funny. I can't comment since I... I'm also learning, so I can't really tell when someone's Japanese is good or bad, but it's interesting to hear. Anyways, let's do some more. Wanikani!
Oh no. Man, I really hope it saves everything that I did.
ba -da -ba -ba. What are you guys talking about in the chat? Um, so I'm going to time how long of a break I'm doing because I feel like I keep rambling for too long. Yeah, I, I agree with you, you dig. Like, I feel like accent comes from input and just listening to the language a lot. Like, I found when I lived in France, when I came back, I had a really good accent, but my accent was really bad after, like, years of studying French at school, and it just took, like, being surrounded by French people to, like, make my accent really good. Because then you just start to, like, mimic what you hear. And you start, to, and you can, like hear yourself not sounding right, and then you start adjusting. And yeah, like, with Wani Kani, I find that too, like, um, like, a lot of words I'll just, you like, you guys can see how fast I'm going, like, a lot of words I just know it right away, and I'm like, I don't even know how I know that word, like, it starts to get like instinctual almost. Same. I also like kanji better than katakana. I like, I feel like I forgot, I've forgotten like half of my katakana characters just because you don't see them very often, so you just forget them. Good job, Franco. Yes, do your reviews on time. Don't do what I'm doing. It's quite a <laughs> quite a struggle to catch up. Yeah, I also feel really spoiled with like how awesome all the like softwares are. Like, it's so it's so nice. Like, I can't imagine trying to learn kanji like by hand or like with paper flashcards. That just seems like really hard to manage. I wonder how many learners even know what a cassette is. <laughs> it's funny. I was um, watching something the other day and it was like about like younger generations and they were saying how like the kids today, if you ask them like to make the gesture for a phone call, they go like this, like like a cell phone, like they don't know what this is. I was like, what? Olivia's gone through 900 comments before she can do her 900 reviews. 
Yeah, you guys are chatty, but it's nice. I like, I like seeing what you guys are talking about. Oh yeah, what, um, what kanji book did you buy, Franco? I'm pretty sure, like, Wani Honey doesn't cover every kanji, but it covers a lot of them. I think it covers 2,000, maybe? Like, I think it covers all but, like, 10 or 20 of the JLPT kanji, like, for all the levels. Um, the ones that it leaves out are, like, just ones that aren't very common. Um, and it doesn't cover all the Joyo kanji, I'm pretty sure. Oh nice, weekly goals, Jordan. That's cool. I need to get better at doing that. I feel like I do it every like second week, I just completely forget to make my goals. Because I find when I do write it down, like I'm way more on top of doing stuff. Kanji learner's course, cool. Oh cool, that you're learning new English words. That's funny. Yeah, there's quite a few, there's a few words that I don't see being that useful. Like, I know one of the kanji that I was doing today was wisteria. I have no idea what that word means. Does anyone know what wisteria means? It sounds very, like, magical or whimsical, but I have no idea. What other tools do you use for vocab learning? Um, so I use, um, so I was doing the the Tango decks on Anki. I did the N5 and the N4 one. And then I learned all of the vocab in the Yankee textbooks. And then now I don't do a ton of like um, targeted vocabulary study because I feel like my base is large enough that I can like read things so I prefer to just read things and then look up words as I go along and like just look them up it'd probably be a, a good idea if I made my own Anki cards when I did that and then reviewed the new words that I'm picking up from reading but I haven't been doing that because I'm lazy but I think that is um, a pretty good next step once you feel like you know enough words to apply them then to just make your own cards I do not because I don't have the time. Um, which two kanji do you find yourself often mixing up with each other? Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but like there's a lot that are that look similar, and it's pretty easy to to jumble them up. Favorite Japanese word? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Tokidoki is fun. Just, cause, just a fun word to say. Yeah, like writing goals down, like, I don't know what it is, but I guess it's just like that need to like cross something out. I find like it really helps, especially just like if you're writing something down, you have to know what you're going to write down first. So you're actually like making a plan. But if you're just keeping it in your head, sometimes you never take that step to actually like plan out what you're going to do. So I definitely recommend writing down goals. Uh, keep timing out. Um, it's a flower. Okay, cool. Um, Wisteria Lane, does it ring a bell? Maybe. Like, I've definitely heard the word before. I just don't know what it means. Um...
good books to read that are around N4 and N5. Um, I was saying earlier that um, Shirakuma Cafe is a really good like first ever actual book to read. Um, it's a manga about a, a polar bear who owns a cafe. Um, that one's really good. Um, Yotsuba is really good. Um, what else? What else? Um, Flying Witch is a good one. Um, beginner things. Also just like Satori Reader is what I use a lot. And it's, I'd say N4 level, a lot of the stuff. Yeah, Noon and Cow do look really similar. I mess those ones up a lot. Cause it's like just the tiny little line up top. Up top. Yeah, that's why I put the font. I have like this plugin that um, varies the font just like randomly, which I really like because I find like before, if I wasn't using it, I would not recognize these as the same thing, even though they look so similar. Um, so I recommend adding that. It's called um, Jitai, I think it's called. Um, that Wani Kani plugin is good to like get used to a lot of different fonts. But yeah, I only have 115 reviews left. Pretty psyched. Um, I think I will do, I'm gonna try and finish them all in this next 20 minute chunk. So I think that this will be the last um, study chunk and then, I don't know, then I'll just like stay on and chat until people are done. I don't know. Yeah. So, oh yeah, um, Cheese Sweet Home. Yeah, that one's also really good. I only read like one of them, but it's also a really good N5, N4 level book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Handwritten kanji nightmare territory. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think I will be trying to read any handwritten kanji soon. Like even in the Genki textbooks, they have some, like, it's still like typed, but it's like handwritten font for some of the exercises and they are hard to read, like, yeah. That's why it's really good to know. Um, you don't need to like memorize every kanji stroke order, but to like, just have like a base knowledge of stroke order because then you can kind of guess what the shape is better um, from that, but. Um, kanji kente. I have no idea what that is. What is that? Kanji kente, let me just Google it. Um, oh, an aptitude test. Maybe, why not? Sounds fun. Little, little challenge. Cause yeah, I'm like, I'm going to do the GLBT N3 hopefully this winter, but I don't like have to do it. I don't really, like I'm just doing it for fun just to like, as a challenge kind of thing. So I would do Kanji Kente. But yeah, let's do our final 20 minute um, study sesh, try and finish off whatever it is you're doing. And then you can just like ask me questions and just like do more, a little bit more chit chat and then call it a day. Mm -hmm. Oops. This is not a countdown.
did it. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I'm going to... There's still 10 minutes left, so I'm just going to go fill this up and be quiet for a bit.
Okay, it's the final study block. Um, so if anyone has questions and stuff, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I'm just gonna hang out until, I don't know. Um, <laughs> looking at all those review reviews feels intimidating. What is happening with my computer right now? I feel like my stream's probably lagging right now. Everything seems to be freezing up a little bit. So sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, is everything working okay? Come on, you can do it, computer. Um, battery seems fine. Getting tired now. Oh well. Um, let me try like minimizing this. Okay, hopefully this smooths out. I'm just gonna wait a second and see. I think it's just my computer is finally feeling the feeling the heat from all the studying. Um, I'm gonna hide the screen share. Maybe that will that'll help a bit. Give it less to process. Maybe. Um, oh, the audio is good. Okay, that's good. I wasn't sure. Yeah, I think the video is just kind of grinding its gears, trying to trying to stream it. But um, I'll answer some questions if you can hear me then. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. um yeah, Sakura so Tips, um, the um, podcaster asked me to do a interview. So I might do it. I I haven't decided yet because my conversation skills really are not as high as my like comprehension skills are yet. So I find I can understand a lot and I can read a lot, but when it comes to me actually talking, it takes me a long time to like have the word ready in my head. Um, so I'm still trying to decide if I want to do it, because it's super cool that she asked me, but I don't know. I don't want to like make a fool of myself. Um, yes, Wani Kani is a lot like remembering the kanji. They're like, they bo they're both spaced repetition systems for learning kanji. Um, the difference is Wani Kani does, also I don't know why this news thing is stuck on my screen. Um, Wani Kani does the readings for all the kanji, whereas RTK only does the meanings, so you won't be able to pronounce them after doing RTK, but you will with Wani Kani. And RTK is faster than Wani Kani is, like it will take less time to go through it all. Um, do you have plans to visit Japan? No, I have no plans. I, I just want to eventually, but no concrete plans. I just... I really want to go to Tokyo just because Tokyo. I just want to eat so much food. I love Japanese food. 
Um, and I'd also like to go to like all the, the outdoor sites. Like it looks so pretty, the, all of the nature and the forests. Um, also is the video normal now? I can't really tell. It seems less jittery, but I'm not really sure. <clears throat> um, I wouldn't say remember the kanji is a waste of time. It just depends on how you want to do it. Like, the people who do do it really love it because it is, like, the fastest way to be able to read something. Because when you're reading, you don't have to know how to pronounce the kanji like you just need to know what's going on to read it um eventually you do need to learn how to pronounce them but like um you know it's not necessary to know how to pronounce them if you're just reading it's only when you're speaking that you need to know that so they're two different methods they're both um good um how often do you have moments where you feel like you're really progressing in Japanese and vice versa? How often do you have moments where you're stuck? Um, I definitely go back and forth a lot. Like, like usually whenever I'm trying a new resource, I will either feel one of those ways. Like I'll either feel like super like satisfied that I can understand what's going on and like I feel really proud of myself, but other times I'll pick something that's just a bit too hard for me. And then I just feel like, oh, like, I should be able to do this. This is, like, a beginner resource. Why don't I understand it? Um, yeah, like, it definitely is, like, a roller coaster. Because when, you, when you're feeling really down and, like, don't feel like you're making any progress, it really sucks. And you just feel like, oh, my gosh, I've been putting so much time into this. And, like, why don't I know what's going on? But then also it's, like, if you take the time and, like, actually think about all the stuff you have learned... And like how you knew nothing before like it's pretty cool so yeah it's definitely up and down ups and downs what is the next step after finishing remember the kanji to know how to read um so after if you are doing remember the kanji i'd say after you do that to learn vocabulary so i sorry I really like the Tango N5 deck to start with. Um, it's like a sentence card deck, so you'll be learning a little bit of grammar and a lot of really common words. And then I'd say after you finish the Tango N5 deck, you can try to start reading. Because um, you'll have enough like base words to um, know the gist of what's going on. And you'll still have to look up words, of course, but um, it will be a good starting point and it won't feel like you have to look up every single word it will only be like one or two words per sentence or so oh that's cool um franco wants to do the next scholarship for his phd that's really cool that'd be so cool to go to japan and like um study there that'd be really fun what are you, what do you want to do your PhD in? Favorite Japanese dish? Um, hmm, what do I like? What do I like? I like sushi, but I feel like that's a really basic answer. Um, I've never had like true authentic Japanese ramen. So I'd really want to eat lots of ramen there because I like, I like ramen, but I know that it's like fake ramen in Canada mostly like I've never been to a Japanese restaurant and had ramen um I also really like udon udon soup it's like the really thick noodles um Jordan said I did RTK years ago and it helped but I think Wani has better tools and support if I were to do it again I would go with Wani Kani cool yeah it's a very like it's a very split, um, a very split bag of what people prefer.
has running this channel helped with your motivation seeing the community here's definitely helped me get back into it a few times yeah it's been really awesome to like like meet other people who are learning Japanese and like be connected to all you guys because like I don't know anyone who's learning Japanese like in my life so it's like cool to have this community um and also like motivates me to find new methods and new resources um to like try them out and then I can like talk about them um but also it's been um like it takes a lot of time to like edit videos and stuff so also it does eat away from some of my study time but overall I really like it it's been fun uh, yeah also like I've been procrastinating doing this for like a month so this this helped me actually sit down and do it because I probably if I wasn't on stream I probably would have started this and done like 20 minutes and then just given up but it was nice to like have the support of everyone <laughs> favorite Japanese resource so far and future resources you have your eye on um, I would say my favorite resource is Satori reader it's just so good like it's um, oh yeah to whoever was asking about reading um, Satori reader is like this app and it's also on desktop and it's just like a bunch of um, Japanese short stories and it has a built-in dictionary so when you're reading you can just like click on any word that you don't understand and it also will like translate the entire sentence for you which is really helpful because when you're first starting reading like sometimes you'll read a sentence and you understand each individual word but you don't really understand what the, the sentence is as a whole and like how they fit together so it's nice that they have the individual word translations and the sentence translations so that's a really great resource and then a resource that I have an eye on um I heard um someone was telling me about these short story Japanese books that like have a bunch of short stories and then the translation like side by side um those sound cool because that would be like the same as story reader you can like um look up things that you don't know really quickly because like one of the things that's hard with reading is that it gets like tedious to look things up when you don't understand and it can kind of slow you down so that resource sounds cool because then you don't have to do that nuclear physics go franco that's awesome um do you think genki is the best book to start um I like I made a video about this a while ago I forget what's titled but um I think if you're first starting out to start with hiragana and katakana and start with kanji and then look into textbooks later just because textbooks like will just kind of give you so many things to learn all at once and it can kind of be overwhelming so I do really like the Genki textbooks but I would do some like prep work with hiragana, katakana, and kanji first just so that it's less overwhelming when you start a textbook but I didn't I started Genki at the same time that I started Wani Kani so you don't have to but I think that it would be less overwhelming if you did it ahead of time favorite worst Wani Kani level so far um it is a tie between the level I'm on right now and level 10 because I was on both of those levels for three months so yeah but honestly it wasn't the level itself that was hard it was just that I was going too fast and then I had too many reviews that were like I just had so many reviews to do because I was going too fast before those levels so yeah level 10 is hard because that's usually around the time where if you're going too fast it catches up with you and then I'm on level 23 right now and as you can see I had quite a backlog of items but I burned a ton of them which is amazing I burned 700 words so I'm very happy about that um, yeah do, 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 do. Yeah, I, oh, how do you say your name also? 
Halcyon, Halcyon. Um, yeah, our TK does get a bad rap just because. Yeah, like it doesn't do everything. It does um, require you to do some of your own work, which is like the point of it. But I didn't like that. Like with our TK, you do mnemonics, but you're expected to write your own mnemonics, which I think would help you remember things better. But I'm too lazy to do that. So that's why I like Wani Kani, because it writes them for you. Um, thoughts on italki. I have used italki. Um, I need to get back into it because I took a big break from it, but I started using italki in like February or March and it's really cool. It's basically you just um, pay for a tutor and they just like teach you Japanese. Um, I would recommend using italki when you're at a stage that you want to practice speaking. Um, unless you want someone to like explain things to you but like for me I would rather just like learn the stuff in Genki on my own time and then practice with a teacher I don't really want the teacher like reading the textbook to me um but yeah I was using italki and I had a tutor and we would just like talk for half an hour every week um like one thing that I really liked is I was reading Hunter Hunter at the time and I would just like read a chapter before our lesson and then she would just like ask me questions in Japanese about what I read and then I'd have to like explain the plot back to her in Japanese and like that was really cool like it's just like um yeah you just get to like practice with someone who actually speaks the language um and knows how to like structure and guide the conversation I really liked that my tutor would have um like props with her or she would have like a whiteboard so if I didn't understand a word she would like um try to explain it to me or draw it out or something like that like she wouldn't revert to English she would try to make sure I understood in Japanese so I really liked that um and also with italki I have uh they give all the youtubers these links um, to get more people to use it. But, um, if you use the link, you get a free, you get free $10 on italki, so if anyone wants to try it, there's a link in the description. Um. Um, yeah, so Tori Reader is a paid service you can read you can read a fair bit before paying like you can make an account for free and then you have like limited access um so you can try it out for free before you do it um but yeah i really recommend it like i think it's super worth it because it's so hard to find resources that are easy enough for you when you're first starting reading um and it really like fills that that gap Um, Tacey Cruz, what age did you move to Japan? I don't live in Japan. I live in Canada. I've never been to Japan, but I would love to go someday. Oh yeah, Deadshot, yeah. Sometimes if you put links, YouTube doesn't like it and like hides the comments, which is kind of annoying, but. Tobira, yeah, the Tobira textbook is like the next one after the Genki. I should get it. I, I would like to get it. I'm like, I don't know, I don't love studying grammar um, just for the sake of studying grammar. Like, I'd rather just apply myself. So, but if it has a lot of, I, I've heard that Tobira has a lot of really good reading passages. So maybe I'll, I'll snag one. Because that's one of my favorite things about the Genki textbooks. There's like a lot of reading practice. Um, that's like really easy to understand because it is like really controlled in the language that it's using. Um, and Jaden Knox about what is Wani Kani. I'm pretty sure I linked the video where I talk about what it is in the description, I think, hopefully. Um,
Yeah, and I agree, Franco. Um, he was saying how uh, it's good to pri prioritize vocab instead of grammar. Yeah, like, knowing a lot of vocab is more useful than knowing a lot of grammar, because, like, even if your grammar is really bad, if you have the right words, people will understand what you're trying to say, even if it's, like, really broken. But if you don't know the words, you don't know the words. So, I agree. How many lessons would you recommend daily? Um, so, a good rule of thumb is to make sure that um, when you're on your homepage, there'll be, like, these colorful boxes along the bottom. You want the pink apprentice box to be less than 100, and you want the light blue guru box to be less than 500. If you do that, then you won't have too many reviews to do per day. Um, but I can't quite say how many lessons I'd recommend, because it, like, depends on what your retention rate is. Like, if you're getting a lot of words wrong, then you're going to want to stop doing lessons. But if you're always getting them right, then you can do more lessons. So, like, it really depends on the person, but you want to make sure that the pink one is under 100 and the blue one is under 500, and then you shouldn't get overwhelmed. Um... Yeah, using your own mnemonics is definitely a lot better than using pre-made ones. I'm just lazy, <laughs> but... Um, does italki cost money to have? Um, yeah, so italki um, works that you just pay your tutor whatever their hourly rate is. Um, and it's usually, like... It's pretty cheap. Like, it's a lot cheaper than you'd expect. Um, but yeah, you, it, when you're first trying it out, too, you get like a discount rate when you're for your first like three lessons I think just so you can try it out without paying full price and then I also have a, a discount link in the in my bio that gives you ten free dollars so that like pretty much covers your first three free lessons so if you want to try it you can do that um, yeah like it's really nerve-wracking to do italki because like you just feel so like awkward and nervous and like don't really know what's gonna happen but it's really great it's really good um i do watch anime to learn japanese um like it's not my only source though like i watch um i've also been watching um terrace house a lot it's like a um a reality tv show with like real people um, that's also good but yeah just like any any media that you can get your hands on that's in Japanese is good and just gets you like used to the language oh yeah that is a good idea we were talking about um maybe making a discord server at some point but that would be fun to do watch parties that'd be really fun um how's your japanese speaking do you practice that or just learn understanding japanese also if you've tried pilsmer is it worth the money um my japanese speaking is not very good like i think my pronunciation is like on the better side but i can't talk like normally in japanese i like talk like a toddler kind of like you know like I have to take a lot of pauses and I make a lot of mistakes um because I'm I like was using italki for a little while to work on my speaking and then I just I don't know I just stopped doing it so my speaking's not good but yeah I've been mostly focusing on like reading and like listening stuff but I do want to get back on that and keep practicing my speaking um and I have not tried Pimsleur, so I do not know um, if it's good or not because I haven't tried it. Giovanni, hello. 700 reviews, oh no. Yeah, I had to do. How many did I have? Uh, 900? I had 900 reviews to do today and it took like three hours or something. It was quite the marathon. Um, but yeah. But yeah, thank you, thank you. Hello, Anna. Yeah, italki is a lot less intimidating than doing an interview. Like, 
I definitely could do an interview in Japanese, but it would just be so awkward and I'd make so many mistakes, you know, like, uh. Favorite Terrace House cast members? Uh, I have no idea. I was watching, I've only watched one season and it is, what season is it? Do -do 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 -do. I think it's like city living or something, but I'll check. I was watching Terrace House, um, Tokyo 2019 to 2020, and I really like, um, let me look up their names because I forget, Not but I really like the, the illustrator girl, she's really cute, she has the short hair. 2019, 2020. Her name is. Um, where is it? Cast. Okay, sorry, I'm like not, I'm trying to find something that has like pictures of the people. But the girl with the short hair in Terrace House, Tokyo, 2019 is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, like anime and dramas do talk like not normally, so like don't emulate how they're talking, but it's good to like get better at comprehension, but definitely mix in some regular speech to your, um, to your repertoire, because otherwise you'll just, like, talk weird, you know. Oh, that's cool. Jordan said, um, your library might have Pimsleur for free. That's really cool. That's a good tip. I had no idea about that. I know some libraries have, like, the Genki textbooks that you can take out, um, And yeah, Chris, Terrace House is really great for listening project practice. It's like, it's definitely humbling to watch because like, they're just regular people talking like totally normally and like using slang and stuff. Um, and they're not always like talking very clearly because they're just like talking to their friends, but it's like really good practice. Oh my god, I didn't know that. That's awful. That someone passed away. <laughs> Deadshot said I'd be fine with speaking like an anime character and just being a weirdo. Nice. I like the confidence. But yeah, I'd never seen, like, I only just started watching Terrace House a while ago, but it's pretty, it's pretty good. I'm liking it. I can't say I really, like, understand, like, I haven't finished the season that I'm watching, so, like, do people, like, the reality shows that I'm used to, like, people get voted out, or, like, there's, like, some type of You know, like there's some type of like induced challenge into it, but it doesn't seem like Terrace House does that. Is it just like, does stuff like that happen or is it just chill and it's just people hanging out? <laughs> um, no, I'm not a full-time learner and I'm on level 23 um, of Wani Kani, but... Last summer I was like going pretty crazy. I was doing a lot, a lot of hours of Japanese, but now I've got less time. But anyways, I think unless there's any more questions, I'm going to wrap this up. So we've been streaming for four hours. 
only had one um, malfunction, so that's pretty good. A success. Uh, Gaki no Tsukai. I haven't seen that. I'm gonna look that up. So yeah, I need more show recommendations. I like, have felt like I'm kind of in a rut right now. I'm mostly just watching, um, like Japanese YouTube a lot. I haven't been watching many shows as of late. Um, do you still use Anki? Not right now. I'm not using Anki right now. I stopped using it like a month or two ago, and I'm not sure if I will keep using it. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. Like, Anki is really good for picking up vocab really fast, but you just need to, like, want to do it and, like, be able to fit it into your, time, like, into your day, you know? But... I don't know. Like, I learned French without any flashcards or without any anything, like, Wani Kani. Like, it was just sheer input and immersion. So, I feel like from this point forward, I'm gonna mostly just do immersion for Japanese, just because it's just more enjoyable and more, like, fun. And I'm just learning for fun. I'm not on any deadline, so... Laptop didn't melt down, so it looks like a win situation here. Agreed, agreed. Thank you, Karen. You have a good day, too. <laughs> yeah, only one malfunction is a success in my books. Okay, well, I think, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. It was so lovely talking with everyone and hanging out with everyone and studying with everyone. And we all got a lot of work done, which is great. I think that I'll do more of these because this is really fun and then I can get some work done and everyone else can get work done and like give resource recommendations. So, so yeah, I think I'll do them maybe like once a week or once every two weeks or something. Um, yeah. If there's anything that you'd like to see different next time, let me know. Like, I don't know if you want like background music or... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Any, any recommendations of how I could improve it? But yeah, have a good day, everyone. And yeah, I'll definitely do it again. Definitely do it again. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I'm going to head out now. It was really fun chatting with everyone. Awesome. Okay, cool. Bye! Bye-bye.